From sneaky vipers whose strong venom can paralyze you to giant cobras who can paralyze an elephant, here are 10 of the most venomous snakes in the world. Okinawa Habu Habu snakes live on Japan's Ryukyu Islands, where one of them, the so-called Okinawa Habu, stands out from the rest in terms of venomousness. Their venom is far more toxic than that of their close cousins. However, most of the time you won't see Habu snakes out in the wild. They prefer to live on farmland, fields that are close to freshwater, or human settlements where they hide in old tombs and inside the walls made of limestone. With snakes like this, you are much more likely to get bitten because they like to live near people. Since we are such close neighbors, people from Japan have put those snakes to good use. You can actually find them in Habusaki or Awamori, which is a liquor made from Habu snakes and bottles contain the remains of the snakes themselves. Would you take a shot of this? Or have you? Let me know in the comments below. Nearly 50 people per year experience a bite from the Okinawa Habu snake. A bite from this snake is not a fun experience. This venom destroys blood cells and tissues. Although it has a death rate under 1%, their venom can lead to vomiting, loss of motor control, permanent tissue damage, and in extreme cases, even death. Sadly, even if you're able to receive treatment for the bite, around 6-8% of victims are disabled in one form or another due to the experience. Even though they could live near your house, they are not friendly neighbors. Boom Slang These are solitary snakes that enjoy spending their time hidden in the trees and the shrubs. They really enjoy camouflage and wait for their prey, so they spend most of their time waiting hidden in low trees. They eat little lizards and frogs, but they love to eat eggs and birds, so they usually hide near their nests even though they will even prey on other members of their species. While most snakes show their fangs at the front of their mouths, the boom slang's fangs are closer to the back of its jaw. Because of their fangs location, when they bite, they look like they're trying to chew, but they can also look a lot more intimidating. They're capable of prying their jaws open nearly 170 degrees. These factors enable boom slangs to take big bites. The average length of these snakes is 4 to 5 feet, 1.2 to 1.5 meters. The boom slang's family members aren't deadly, which makes it all the more remarkable that the boom slang has such a potent venom. It is a blood-curdling venom, and is more deadly than venom from black mambas and cobras. Consisting mostly of hemotoxin, its venom prevents blood from clotting and causes hemorrhaging and tissue damage. But you may not even notice this at first glance. Instead, the boom slang's venom tends to release slowly over time. This means that you may think you're fine and don't need antivenom, when really, the venom is taking its toll. At least there's plenty of time to find help if you get bitten by a boom slang, but if you do get bitten, don't think that you're in the clear just because you feel okay right after. Ferdy Lance the Ferde Lance, also known as the Terciopelo, Spanish for velvet, is well known as the most dangerous snake in all of Costa Rica. This snake also lives in Guatemala, Honduras, Panama, Colombia, Ecuador, and Venezuela, and can be found near rivers and streams, under the sun during the day, and lying still well camouflaged while it waits for mice and rats. It can grow 3.9 to 8.2 feet, 1.2 to 2.5 meters, can weigh up to 13 pounds, 6 kilograms, and its fangs are nearly an inch, 2.5 centimeters long. And while, like other snakes, they generally just stick to themselves, they're quite fast, and they've been known to strike in anger at those who they perceive as threats. Because of this, they account for some 46% of every snake bite in Costa Rica. This snake usually lives near human habitations, and because of its proximity to civilization and its defensive temperament, it is considered one of the most dangerous snakes to people, way more than other species. A bite from the Ferde Lance is nasty business. The sight of the bite tends to ooze and swell. Most people also show signs of blisters, fever, and even vomiting. In some cases, when bites are left untreated, severe tissue deterioration can also occur, sometimes leading to amputation. So when the Ferde Lance is fatal, it's not just fatal in one way. Its venom is a dangerous mix. In 1947, the death rate from a Ferde Lance bite was 9%. However, scientists discovered an antivenom for the snake soon after, and the rate is now nearly 0%. But without the antivenom, this snake can still pack a heck of a punch, so keep an eye out for one on the forest floor. And now for number 7, but first, do you have any snake bite stories? Let me know in the comments below. And if you are new, welcome to Taltanic. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Russell's Viper when Russell's viper strikes, it always seems to be going for the kill. 
Where most venomous snakes tend to bite without any venom a lot of the time, Russell's Viper almost always delivers the maximum amount of venom that it's capable of. There are many deaths associated with a bite from the snake because it tends to live in places where humans live as well. These snakes can grow up to 6 feet (1.8 meters), and reports say that it is India's deadliest snake. They can also be found around grassy areas in Taiwan, Java, Pakistan, Myanmar, and Sri Lanka. The number of bites increases twice a year, when the rice fields are being planted and when they are harvested. Russell's viper has some serious effects on the human body. The spot of the bite swells, and then many start vomiting and showing signs of swelling in their faces. Most of the time, people's kidneys fail after a bite from one of these vipers. If you are able to get to some anti-venom before 5 hours, then some of these consequences can be prevented and reduce the chance of developing lethal complications. However, due to their interaction with humans, there are thousands of bites due to the Russell's Viper per year. And almost 29% of the people who survive a bite from Russell's Viper experience significant harm to their pituitary glands as well. All of these factors combined make Russell's Viper one of the most dangerous snakes in the world. King Cobra these famous snakes live in the rainforests of India, southern China, and Southeast Asia. The King Cobra holds to belt for the longest venomous snake on Earth. They can grow 10 to 13 feet, 3 to 4 meters long, and with their slender, muscular frames, they can even bend upwards and meet a human at their height. The largest King Cobra found measured 18 feet, 6 meters. And even more than that, the King Cobra is a superstar among snakes. Their look is iconic, and is what most depictions of cobras tend to aspire to. And when you combine this with their killing abilities, it's no wonder that the King Cobra has such a hold on our collective imagination. Surprisingly, this is not considered an aggressive snake. Actually, it usually slinks off when disturbed or when it has to defend incubating eggs. When alarmed, it raises the front part of its body, extends the hood, shows the fangs, and hisses loudly. If the opponent doesn't leave, the snake attacks rapidly, injecting the venom in the intruder. The King Cobra isn't the most venomous cobra in the world, but their bites can be deadly because they're capable of administering so much venom in a single bite. In fact, the amount that they distribute in one bite could kill almost 20 people. It could even lay an elephant in its grave after a few hours. And most victims bitten by King Cobras are snake charmers. The King Cobra's venom generally causes respiratory failure and heart attacks. When no treatment is provided, a bite from a King Cobra will kill you about 50% of the time. So be careful careful whenever you see a snake charmer trying to serenade those deadly creatures. Coastal Taipan Coastal Taipans aren't the most venomous snakes in Australia, but they are the most dangerous in the entire country because everything is a threat for them. Based on encounters with these snakes, we know they are super nervous. For instance, if you move a muscle around a coastal Taipan, they're inclined to read it as a threat and strike in retaliation. These snakes live in tropical coastal regions, in warm forests and wet woodlands, but sometimes you can find them in artificial grassy areas including grazing paddocks. They usually hunt for mice, rats, bandicoots, and birds. Coastal Taipans don't want to get into a fight, they're just more alert than the average snake, but because of that, you still need to be at the ready. Their fangs are nearly half an inch 12 millimeters long, which are some of the longest in all of Australia. Their venom affects the nervous system and the blood's ability to clot. When bitten, people have reported a number of symptoms, headaches, muscular damage, paralysis, collapse, kidney damage, and convulsions, especially in children. Thankfully, there is antivenom for the coastal taipan's bite, but you should try to get help quickly if you're bitten, because their venom acts fast. Banded Krite The banded krite is one of the most venomous snakes on Earth, but it's most notable for its primary diet. While it will often eat fish, mice, and frogs, most of the time it opts to feed on other snakes. That's right, the banded krite is a cannibal snake, and the way that it captures its brethren is the same as the way it captures everything else. It will strike it, and its venom will paralyze its prey, giving the banded krite a docile meal. The banded krites are also notable for their appearance. Most often, they have striking bands of yellow and black along their bodies, and the shape of their bodies is nearly triangular. The average length is about 6.5 feet, 1.5 to 2 meters, and you can find them all over Thailand and most of Asia. If left untreated, then there is a significant probability that the banded krites venom can kill you, sometimes quite quickly. A Thailand source claims that a person died within 30 minutes of venom injection. How does the venom work? Well, 
basically the mix of neurotoxins in the Kreitz venom lead to muscle paralysis. When this happens, you will start feeling local effects, possible nausea, and generalized pain. But when it arrives to your diaphragm, it causes the lungs to seize up as well, meaning that you can't breathe. Naturally, if left untreated, this is a fatal bite. That's why doctors have to treat all of their bites as life-threatening. Saw Scaled Viper the saw-scaled viper may not be the most venomous snake on our list, but it's undoubtedly the deadliest. Scientists actually think that these vipers account for more human deaths than every other snake-related death combined. That's pretty striking, given the size of these bad boys. For instance, this variety of saw-scaled vipers only grows to about 35 inches 90 centimeters long, and they usually live in the rocky regions of Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka, and the north of Africa. In general, they're more aggressive than your average snake, and not only are saw-scaled vipers more aggressive, but their aggressive displays are intimidating. They curl themselves into coils and rub these folds together to generate a crackling sound, getting louder as they get more threatened. Eventually, they will attack their opponent from this position, and because of this, they kill more people than other snakes altogether. Their venom isn't as toxic as others here, but it's nothing to shake a stick at. Although different vipers among the genus display variation in their venom, most of them contain hemotoxic and cytotoxic. These toxins prevent blood clots and inflict serious harm to human flesh. Have you ever seen one of these vipers before? Let me know in the comments below. Black Mamba Black Mambas are super venomous, and they're actually the longest venomous snake in all of Africa. They can approach almost 14 feet long, that's 4 meters. They tend to live around the savannas in East and South Africa, and although they're not aggressive, a few of their attacks have led to death, and their venom kills fast. Some have reported deaths only 20 minutes after a bite, and the average death without antivenom occurs within 3 hours. Alas, not only does their venom kill you fast, but they themselves are fast creatures. They can crawl to you at a rate of nearly 12.5 miles per hour, that's 20 kilometers per hour, making them some of the quickest snakes on Earth. Thankfully, you don't have to worry about them chasing you for the most part. Black Mambas are shy. They don't like to be around people, and they tend to run away when they see danger. But if you accidentally come upon one, watch out. When they feel threatened, they will raise their heads and spread their neck flap, opening their mouths and hiss. If an attacker persists, it will strike repeatedly while injecting large amounts of potent venom. This is a neuro and cardiotoxin that will render the nervous system non-functional and paralyze you to boot. Without antivenom, the Black Mamba's venom has a 100% death rate, so pay attention the next time you're walking in the area. Its bite couldn't be a good experience at all. Inland Taipan the Inland Taipan snake is often noted to be the most venomous snake in the entire world, and while they're probably the most venomous, they're not quite the most dangerous. Inland Taipans tend to be spotted with rarity, and they only leave their houses to prey chicks, rats, and mice. They are generally shy and inclined to stay away from people. In fact, animal keepers often say that the Inland Taipan is a gentle snake to handle. They only attack when they're significantly provoked. But when they're provoked, well, that's a different story altogether. The Inland Taipan will initially respond to provocation by raising its body into a deep, curled S-shape. If this doesn't scare away its intruder, it will proceed to attack by biting them up to a few times, injecting them with venom during the process. And this venom isn't playing around. It contains a whole host of dangerous chemical combinations, including typoxin, neurotoxins, and mycotoxins. On tests with rats, the Inland Taipan's venom ranks at the very top of the list in terms of toxicity. This twisted concoction leads to paralysis, respiratory failure, and hemorrhaging. Moreover, it also contains an enzyme that helps it to spread faster. Thankfully, these snakes avoid contact with humans. Only a few people have experienced the Inland Taipan's bite, and all have survived due to intervention. But given this snake's toxic venom, you definitely shouldn't play around with it. Thank you all for watching. Have you ever seen any of these snakes in the wild before? Did it bite you? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, and click that notification bell to stay updated on all of our newest content. See you next time!